Hi everybody, this time we're going to read Exodus chapter 16 verses 9 through 15. And Moses said to Aaron, Say thou to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, Nay, ye before the Lord, for he heard your grutching. And when Aaron spake to all the company of the sons of Israel, they beheld into the wilderness, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. For so hath the Lord spake to Moses, and said, I heard the grutchings of the sons of Israel. Speak thou to them. At eventide ye shall eat fleshes, and in the more tide ye shall be filled with loaves. And ye shall in white that I am your Lord God. Therefore eventide was made, and Curlew stayed in, and hilled in the castles. And in the more tide dew came by the face of the castles. And when it had hilled the earth a little thing, and as pwned with a pestle, and the license of an hoarfrost on earth appeared in the wilderness. And when the sons of Israel had insane that, they said unto Gitter, Man, who? Which is signifieth, What is this? For they wisen not what it was. To which Moses said, This is the bread which the Lord hath given to you to eat. And now, King James. And Mo Moses spake unto Aaron, Say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he hath heard your murmurings. And it came to pass, as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At even ye shall ye eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that at even the quails came up and covered the camp. And in the morning the dew lay around about the host, and when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoarfrost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said to one, or, one another, they said one to another, It is manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, this is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Man, who? Now something about the Rock of Horeb from Revealing God's Treasure. Northwest of Jabela Laws is the Rock of Horeb that we will explore next. Standing on the crest of a hill, the singular rock stands 50 feet tall and can easily be seen from a great distance. As the people complained once again asking for water, the Lord heard their cries and he commanded Moses to strike the rock. Then water gushed out in abundance. The rock was split down the middle from top to bottom by the hand of God. Just incredible. The can be seen around the rock from millions of gallons of water flowing out into the nearby camp. He opened the rock and water flowed out. The fissure is so large, one can walk through the split in the rock. The rocks below show clear signs of water erosion. Wow. Just amazing. Don't you think? All right. We will see you next time.